This is the milk crate challenge. The goal, to make it from one side of the pyramid to the other. Oh, this is, this is gone, this is gone. So the problem here isn't that it's a staircase or a pyramid, but that these are essentially individual columns of crates stacked on top of each other. And they're not just any columns, they are totally unsupported columns. My name is Dr. Nehemiah Mabry. I'm a professional engineer and I'm an educator. Columns are vertical, slender members. We design them against a failure known as buckling. And basically it's a sudden horizontal movement. You can think of maybe a, a soda can. If you step on a soda can, a lot of times it just kind of collapses on itself. Um, a ruler, press on the ends of the ruler, you'll get a bend sideways. And it happens whenever the force exceeds what we call the critical load. Critical load is the maximum amount of weight or load that a column can take before it becomes unstable. The skinnier and the taller a column is, the less of a critical load is needed for it to get unstable. As you're walking up this crate challenge, you are literally getting to a point to where what it takes for that column to fail becomes less and less. You know what job's easiest? Going down is gonna be a So why is it here, at the top of the pyramid, where most people tend to fall off? Side sway, and see there it is. When you put it down, if you imagine that this is a column, there are different ways that a column can be fixed, right? It can be embedded in the ground, which we call fixed. It can't move sideways, nor can it rotate because it's embedded in the ground. And if we had that same type of connection up here, this is your most stable column, right? It's called fixed fix. The most unstable column is when you have something fixed or pinned here, and literally there's no, there's no support up here. So that means that whatever load that comes up here is basically gonna have to support itself, and if this doesn't have the stability that it needs, then you're going to get the buckling very easily. Going up, you know, you basically can rest your weight, right? But when you're stepping down, you actually have to control the placement of your weight a little bit more than you had to going up. And when it comes to columns, um, the placement of your weight uh, really, really matters. Ideally, in a perfect case scenario, a person would be able to set their weight right down the center of the crate and it literally has what we call pure compression. So that's all that it's experiencing. But really, if you happen to put your weight off to the side, now you're creating like a rotational moment. Well, the problem is because these are separate crates, it's not like there is a continuation of the, of the member of the column to actually push off of. You really depend on your own muscle control to try to get it back stable, uh, which is extremely tough. So there are a couple of ways that if I just had to build this and make it structurally sound, um, I would find a way to attach each crate to each other with adhesive or something to make it act as one unified column. Another thing I would do is create lateral support. I would probably have several rows of crates so that when one begins to sway, it can distribute the load to his other. I have just been able to explain to you exactly why these things fail but it's a totally different thing from understanding it and actually getting out there and doing it. It doesn't always translate. So even though I can very, very clearly explain to you what's going on here, you're still not gonna catch me doing this crate challenge. And uh, that should tell you something. <laughs>